Welcome, my milky agents. I hope you are preparing for the incursion. Excited for the incursion. I am. Uh, and this video will just be breaking down um, my sort of general PVE build uh, that I'll be taking in there for the most part. And that should look like a lot of years. So, I hope you enjoy, and I hope you learn something, or, you know, get something valuable. Uh, so starting out, the weapons, uh, what you're going to be shooting the enemies in the face with. Uh, I, you probably have heard about the M1, uh, it's the best gun in the game, basically, for PvE. Um, it doesn't read high sheet DPS, but don't let that fool you. Um, talents are important, I've got the, the headshot damage, the critical hit damage, those are great, but just the, the raw stats themselves, the pure damage and those rounds per minute. Uh, and of course the bonus headshot damage that all marksman rifles get is just an extremely powerful weapon and lets you also keep your distance, which is good. And I mod mine out for uh, crit chance, weapon damage where I can get it, um, and then a mix of stability and accuracy. Uh, and as you probably know, stability is kind of the view kick, the way the, the crosshairs will move away from where you're aiming, and the, uh, the accuracy is what controls how much the crosshairs spread and how quickly they come back together. Um, and there's also a bug talent right now, especially for this M1, called uh, Balanced, which if you get it, just turns it into a, a basically a recoilless laser, um, and you can just fire those shots and, and not worry about recoil at all. So look out for that Balanced trait. Moving on to the Vector, a gun I'm sure many of you are familiar with, uh, any SMG will do. Um, as with most weapons, it comes down to the talents. Brutal and Deadly are the best combo to get on submachine guns. Uh, that head headshot damage and the crit damage with the already insane innate crit chance that SMGs all get just work together so well. And then you mod it out for uh, a combination of crit chance, crit damage, uh, and then some stability and accuracy in there as well. Um, make sure that you do not break the cap for crit chance, which is 60%. Um, if you have the glove Savage, you're going to want to take another 13% off of that. Uh, so you'd be shooting for somewhere below 47%. Um, and after you have that 47%, that's when you want to start stacking the crit damage mods on, the, uh, on your SMG. And gloves, super important slot. I've talked about it before, but that savage uh, high-end talent on the gloves is just crazy. Uh, and then I picked the AK-47 for a backup weapon. It could fill in well for either the sniper rifle or the SMG. Um, so it's nice to have something like that. And then for the sidearm, I picked the pistol instead of my double barrel that I usually use because it's nice to be able to finish off something from range when you're, when you're using that sniper a lot of the time. Moving on to the gear, uh, Reckless in the chest slot, if it remains bugged, is just the best. Um, and it's nice to have mod slots because as you can see, mod slots can give you not only crazy stat boosts, but also a uh, pretty big boost to skill power, crit chance, armor, very useful things like that. Um, and then the back pad slot, I believe, is very important. Um, you want that inventive talent and you want to get a skill power roll on there if possible. Because the skill power rolls you can get on the backpack are very, very strong. At 4,700 is actually about the, the lowest end you can get. It goes up to 5,700. So having that inventive talent, the 13% at full health, and that skill power is just mm -hmm. a big boost and makes your skills actually worth a crap. Makes your heals do stuff. Uh, the mask um, also can help your heals do stuff. This refreshed, I think, is going to be the top choice after they fix that stupid bugged 2% uh, regen thing. And then... Make sure that you are investing in mods. They can give you huge, huge boosts to uh, particularly skill power. I think that's the best. And for skills, I'll be rolling with uh, you know the first aid and also either the pulse or smart cover, um, whichever my team needs. Uh, both of those are just going to be providing big damage boosts for the entire team and our force multipliers. Make sure somebody has smart cover on your team with that mod trapper uh, if it remains glitched. That, that flat damage boost to all targets is just too good. And then the, the pulse, the crit chance, the crit damage, the damage, uh, you know what that does. It's very useful as well. So that will be my PvE build. Oh, also the first aid. Make sure you pair that with triage. It will uh, reduce your cooldowns absurdly well. Uh, it's bugged right now and, and all heals, incoming, outgoing, all heals will be reducing your cooldowns. So good luck in the incursions. 
Hope you get those uh, set piece drops and uh, pop them jacks. Get ready, boys.